morning. You have had uh, the honor of a visit by Her Excellency, Ambassador Katrina Goldsby of Ireland, uh, the Ambassador of Ireland to Kenya, and, uh, and her team. Really, we have been collaborating together um, for a while, and especially in areas of agriculture, more so with the potato value chain. I'm sure you all know how big we are on wanting to make sure that uh, we have a functional um, potato value chain where our farmers are able to benefit. So they have been a great help in the discussions that we had, but also in the work that they're doing in that space. Uh, actually, even after this meeting, the ambassador and her team will be heading to Baraka um, in Moro to see what's going on there as far as the research in the areas of uh, the potato value chain, but also in the daily value chain. We are also working together, collaborating. Um, as you all know, Nakuru is big on daily, and also livestock actually, just in general, beef and all that. But here specifically is more on dairy and also more specifically helping or partnering in areas of research because as you all know, one of the major issues for our farmers is the cost of feeds. So together, working together and with a bit more of the help of the Embassy of Ireland, uh, we have research going on to help us figure out what areas should farmers keep what breeds? As you know, not all breeds are equal. Some eat more, some need a lot more water, and you might have them in a dry area. And also helping with innovation and technology in helping, after the research, move farmers away from concentrates, which we all know as farmers, if you are, are very, very expensive, and therefore making production very high into forage. So that, that those are some of the some of the collaborations that we are doing, uh, the partnership and quite a bit of good help. So that at the end of the day, as we say, we want to make sure that our farmers have um, have uh, don't put in too much work and really at the end of the day get nothing in return. So let me invite Her Excellency Ambassador so that she can also speak to us a bit. Great, thank you very much, Governor, and uh, good morning. It's lovely to see you all here this morning. Um, I'm delighted to be up here. It's my very first visit to Nakuru. I'm relatively recently arrived in Nairobi. I've just been there for seven months. Uh, but for me, it's wonderful to get out of Nairobi and um, to see the other counties. So I'm really delighted to meet the Governor this morning and uh, to see the partnership that we have already in action between Ireland and Nakuru. We had very good discussions this morning with uh, the governor and with her, her team of experts here, particularly, as the governor said, in the area of agriculture. And we're very, very happy uh, that the Embassy of Ireland and that the people of Ireland have been able to work um, with the people of Nakuru around um, agri-food and around the research and trying to look towards climate, um, climate smart agriculture both in dairy and particularly in the potato, um, in the potato value chain. Um, so we're very, very happy to continue this partnership, particularly as climate change affects all of us, whether we're in Ireland or in Nakuru. We share a very common bond, I think, our people about the importance of farming. And in Ireland, agri-food is one of our most important export exports, and it's one of the most important areas of our economy. So we're very, very happy in the embassy to partner with counties like Nakuru and in particular Ireland's Agricultural Research Institute called Chagas has an institutional partnership with Calro um, to work on this research around um, economic breeding indexes, around climate smart forage and things like that so that we hope that this scientific research can have an impact um, on small farmers and can increase their yield and increase their, um, their sustainability. Um, so I'm really um, delighted to be here to meet the governor and her team, but also in particular, I'm looking forward to visiting 
um, some of our projects later on in the afternoon to talking to the experts um, in Calro and in Baraka um, who are doing the research and checking the data and trying to see um, how we can best continue um, to work together. And I'm very um, fortunate that I'm also going to meet some of the individual, um, the individual farmers. My mother is from a farm in Ireland. I spent a lot of my time as a child down with my grandparents on the farm. So it's very nice for me to get out of Nairobi and, and to get up and um, to see the partnership in action. And for Ireland, it is very much about partnering with the people of Kenya. There's a very strong historic link between Ireland and Kenya, in particular through education and health, where we had a lot of Irish missionaries come over the years. And that, I think, has given um, the two countries a very strong uh, foundation of partnership. And now, as we go into the future of climate change, of smart agriculture, of sustainable food, uh, we need to continue that partnership in a new way. Um, and I'm delighted to be here to talk to the governor and her team about how we'll continue to do that between the Embassy of Ireland in Nairobi and, and Nakuru. Thank you.